Hey YouTube, Gecko Guy here. So here's a review on the eTech City Mini AV Composite Video Audio RCA CVVS to HDMI converter box. It upscales and supports HDTVs of the definitions of 720p and 1080p, and it upscales VHS, VCR, DVD, and many more devices. So, a lot to say in that first little intro. So here's the device itself, and here's the box it comes in. All right, and it comes with a manual, which mine isn't present. But luckily, uh, tech support can email you a PDF file, which I think that's very economical, and you know it saves them paper and it saves the world some paper and gives us a little bit more oxygen. So yay, eco-friendly. So here we are with a little uh, the power supply, and it's a five volt unit, and it's got one of those little cylindrical uh, power supply jacks. Come on, focus camera. Still getting used to this new Canon uh, Rebel uh, camcorder camera thing. All right, so thanks for sticking with me uh, for a couple seconds while it focuses. And um, Sorry, I kind of oversaturated the video with light. I'm still getting used to that. So here's the device itself. You've got two main buttons, 720p and 1080p. The red LED indicator, which we'll see later in the video, means that you're upscaling in 720p. If you press it again and... Uh, have the green LED light indicator, you are in 1080p. Okay, so it's really very straightforward and simple. You've got your um, you got your power supply on the left, which you need to plug in in order to run this thing. And you've got your CVBS and your audio left and right. So um, on the far right, you've got your HDMI output. So what you need um, in order to get this thing up and going so obviously your VHS unit and an additional HDMI cable, which is not supplied. Okay, so here, here I am just uh, showing the bottom of the unit and don't worry about overheating. I had mine on um, for a good six hours while I was upscaling and converting to uh, VHS to DVD. And yes, you can actually take a screen capture software and um, record it to a DVD for personal use um, and that's exactly what I'm doing but it only converts it to um, regular VHS um, it doesn't upscale it to 1080p but you can still watch it in 1080p okay so here it is um, I'm just gonna show you a basic setup here so um, don't be a dummy like echo guy and forget to plug in the power supply unit um, so that's probably something I'll cover here in a second um, it's just general troubleshooting. So it's pretty straightforward. Yellow to yellow, white to white, red to red, and plug in the VCR. That was not the power supply unit. That was to the VCR itself. And this is a Toshiba something or other. I honestly don't know. It's probably a half as old as I am. But it's a VHS and DVD unit all in one. And um, you'll see me fiddling here trying to pull the cord to try to get it in frame. That's because the power supply that's supplied, um, the power supply unit is not long enough, in my opinion. Um, now, everybody's entertainment system is different. I realize that, and I just don't think the cord is long enough for you to upscale it. Um, but then again, you could probably get uh, separate cables to uh, upscale with. The current model that I have in the video, it's about a two foot long cable or so, but those cables by themselves, uh, composite cables, uh, they're very cheap. Okay, so um, this is me being a dummy and forgetting the power supply unit uh, to actually plug it in. Okay, so here we are, getting it all ready, plugging it in, there we go, boom, you see that green LED light indicator? That means you are upscaling in 1080p HD. Now if you press it again, you'll get a red LED light, and that means you are upscaling in 720p. And again, you can see me trying to pan the camera and stretch the dang cords because it's not long enough. Okay, so here I am just showing you a quick little uh, pan here and quick little close-up. There's the 720p mode, and if you press it again, with the green LED light indicator, you are in 1080p. So, um, 
generally, if you use 720p, um, a lot of the TVs that are in the 32 inch mark, um, they there's a lot of 720p um, HD TVs. But now coming up to 2015 or whenever I release this video, um, most TVs HD TVs that you buy are 1080p anyway. So here is my 22. Uh, megabyte per second transfer speed monster cable. This was a very expensive cable. This was like 90 bucks at the current time. And um, all you got to do is basically plug that in and plug it into your TV and put it to the correct HDMI setting. So if one HDMI setting doesn't work, try the other source. Um, so not including HDMI cable can be a positive and a negative. Okay, so here I am just uh, showing a little pan of the back of the unit here. Um, this is a Toshiba VHS something or other, and like I said, it's probably just as old as I am. And all you gotta look for is your DVD VCR out, and you probably could upscale to 1080p and record, but that's not included. Now, what if you wanna play your classic games in 1080p? You can actually take this converter and upscaler and play in 720p or 1080p on a GameCube. Well, at least in this video. Now you could probably do it for your Xbox, your PlayStation, and obviously the GameCube, which I will show later. Um, and then it's the same concept, just plug the three, uh, the three composite cables into the uh, E-Tech City and take your HDMI cable and put it into the TV. Now, what if you actually want to take the eTech City and convert your VHS to DVD with capture software? Well, that's exactly what I did with the Elgato Game Capture HD software. Just take the, um, you, you get an extra HDMI cable, you plug it in there from your graphics card, you, and you take the other one, which I pointed in a circle, and then you plug it into the eTech City, and then you convert it and then you press play well record I should say and that does take up a lot of memory on the hard drive so keep that in mind so here's a uh, my jerry rig kind of a janky setup here I've got the cords all situated in there and then here I am just showing you guys um, the e-tech city um, with the VHS and it's um, I press the play button and whoa, Gecko guy, you actually have to turn the device on. <laughs> I didn't turn it on the DVD player, so I apologize about that one. So here we go, boom, and we should get a blue screen. And here I am gonna pan up. And here we go, 1080p at 50 hertz. Okay, and press it again, 1280 by 720 at 60 frames. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And I'm on the HDMI 2 setting, and this is a Samsung 39-inch 1080p, uh, 120Hz LED backlit HD TV. I don't know the exact SKU model. But here we are. Here's a little bit of a showing of uh, the Lion King. Um, and here we are in 1080p mode. And I, I know I was filming my TV with this uh, device, and you probably shouldn't do that. Uh, but I can assure you that there is a definite difference in um, video quality and uh, screen goes blank for a couple seconds here so okay so here I am trying a different setting and this is back to 720p okay so it basically just the same clip or pretty close to the same clip um, now here we go Walt Disney yada 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 okay now, I am going to show you guys how to, um, that you can actually play your classic games on the um, E-Tech City um, and can upscale it to 1080p. So you don't necessarily need a Nintendo GameCube per se, but it's still nice to have. And E-Tech City also does have a little adapter, so you don't need your composite cables for the Wii. You can just hook it up with the HDMI cable. So. Um, screen goes blue again here and here we are with the Nintendo GameCube and here's the audio and here's just a little um, 
give us a little Easter egg from the GameCube. Okay, there we go. We got a little Easter egg for you. The little uh, squeaky toy and child laughing. So sorry about the humming in the background. I'm not sure what that was from. It's probably from my computer. But uh, here we are just uh, showing you guys um, how it moves. And I messed that one up. I wanted to press the, the Z button while I turned it on. So here we go. And here is 1080p. Looks beautiful. I can definitely assure you that. And it does a very good job at upscaling. I, I even played off uh, off camera for a little bit. And you'll see what game I'll play here in a second. And it's a good classic. Okay, so here I am just panning around. And uh, you, saw, you saw me make a little click noise in the background. That was me switching to different modes here. But I couldn't record while doing the the upscaler because that would mess with like the HDMI settings and I'd probably need a Y splitter for that, but like a Y splitter for the HDMI cable. Where it's got two female ports and one male port. Um, if you guys follow me what I'm saying. Maybe you don't, that's alright. And let me get the game here in focus. I do apologize about the length of this video. There's just so much to cram in, as you can hear me talking all the video. But at least you can see a little standby of how the game uh, GameCube looks in 1080p. Okay, Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. A classic GameCube game. And if you don't have that in your collection for the GameCube, you need to get it. Okay, so here I am. It's wondering what's in the, the disc there with the little question mark. you probably hear me. There we go. Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Let's play. Press start, and here we are. I'm going to do a little split um, and show you that I am in 1080p mode. So here's this little bit of Legend of Zelda. I'll be quiet now.
All right, so to sum it all up, this is just an awesome little piece of equipment here. There's so much you can do with it. I mean, I just showed you in this really long video. Um, so I do definitely recommend this product. Um, you know, you can convert your, uh, well, upscale, I should say, and convert, if you will, and play in 1080p for your VHS or DVD, whatever it may be. Um, it's definitely a really cool device that you guys should look into and it's it does not take up a lot of space and it's got a very small form factor so in my book it definitely deserves an A plus and I do recommend that you guys get this if you have a bunch of VHS's still uh, laying around and you want to still watch your videos and uh, you know enjoy them in 1080p so I thank you all for watching be sure to comment like and subscribe and uh, let me know how I did on this video I can only get better with your feedback